जय सीताराम बालकांड चैप्टर 18 वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन द बर्ड्स ऑफ रामा भरत लक्ष्मण एंड शत्रुघ्न एंड वी हैव सीन हाउ द वर्ल्ड सेलिब्रेटेड एट द टाइम ऑफ देयर बर्थ वाल्मीकि हैज गिवन देयर चाइल्डहुड पास्ट टाइम्स इन वेरी ब्रीफली वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द चाइल्डहुड पास्ट टाइम्स and right now we are going to see how rama was the best among the four brothers verse 26 tesham api maha teja rama satya parakrama ishta sarvasya lokasya shashamka iva nirmala among them rama was the brightest and shone radiant he was of unfailing prowess and he was a source of delight unto the world even as the charming moon so this is one of the first times when rama is described as rama satya parakrama the term satya parakrama comes over and over and over again throughout valmiki ramayan and this term is very significant because it means one thing the person for whom truth is power and the second meaning the one whose power is always truthful or the fact that the power does not diminish so we see that there are plenty of rakshasas who are very powerful but then their strength wanes plenty of vanaras are very powerful but their strength wanes plenty of rishis are very powerful but as soon as they put out a curse their austerity is reduced but rama is so powerful that no matter how much he spends his power he is always powerful no matter how much wealth he spends he is always rich and this is known as the one who is truly powerful the one whose power does not diminish and of course we know that rama is extremely honest he is very truthful he has perfect adherence to dharma so this is the other meaning of satya parakrama now we know that parakrama means the one who is very powerful right so he is great during warfare and everything so whenever we see the ferocious side of the lord the lord in battle the warrior side of the lord valmiki and actually even his guru narada hasten to tell us that rama is as gentle as the moon he is so sweet he is very charming he has eyes like lotus petals and this is something that we saw in uh, balakan first chapter as well When Narada Muni describes the death of Virad Rakshas he says that Rama the one with eyes as sweet as the lotus petals so we are seeing a similar trend over here as well we see Rama Satya Parakrama the very brave warrior and we also see someone who is as charming as the moon so shashamka eva nirmala and he is dear to everyone ishta sarvasya lokasya now someone might question ravana and the other uh, rakshasas did not like him but you will see that the lord is kind to everyone and ultimately ravana and the other rakshasas are also his devotees when we read shrimad bhagavatam we realize that jay and vijay the two gatekeepers of vaikuntha are cursed to take form of rakshasas for three births and they will receive death at the hands of the supreme lord himself therefore they are devotees in one sense so the ishta sarvasya lokasya applies even to the demons it applies especially to the bhaktas but it applies even to those who want to be the enemies of the lord verse 
गजस्कंधे अश्व पृष्ठे च रथ चर्यासु सम्मत धनुर्वेदे च निरत पितु शुश्रूषणे रत He is most expert in training horses and elephants and in chariot races. He is the master of the science of the bow and he is ever assiduous in attending upon his parents and ministering to their least comforts. So gajas khande means on mounting elephants. Then ashva prishte means riding on the back of horses. Then rata charyasu means going about on chariots. and sammatha means he is widely known as being very skilled and dhanurveda is also one of the categories in which rama is extremely skilled but he is always engaged that means niratha he is always engaged in pitru shushrushane that means in the service of his parents so rama is usually known as a person with the bow and arrow but we should also know that he is an expert in the science of elephant training then horseback riding then riding on the chariots and in dhanurveda so in four categories he is extremely expert and during the war we will see that he is an expert in throwing the spear um he is an excellent swordsman basically every art form is known to him every weaponry is known to him there is nothing that he doesn't know but dhanurveda is technically assigned to lord rama because he usually goes about with bow and arrow verse 28 balyat prabhriti susnigdo lakshmino lakshmi vardhanah रामस्य लोकरामस्य भ्रातुर ज्येष्ठस्य नित्यस्य फ्रॉम हिज वेरी चाइल्डहुड लक्ष्मण द एनहांसर ऑफ फॉर्च्यून ऑलवेज रिमेंड अटैच टू हिज एल्डेस्ट ब्रदर राम द डिलाइट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वर्स 29 सर्व प्रिय कर अभी शरीरत लक्ष्मण लक्ष्मी संपन्नो बहि प्राण इव अपर Lakshmana endowed with all auspiciousness dedicated himself to Rama with bodily service and while performing all agreeable deeds in respect to Rama he behaved like Rama's alter ego So now Valmiki describes the relationship between Rama and Lakshmana and it is very important to see that Lakshmana who is blessed with every perfection and excellence is ever devoted to his brother Rama who is the beloved of all men the whole current of his thoughts words and deeds was set towards Rama and that from his very infancy now we will see how Rama behaved towards Lakshmana verse 30 न च तेन विना निद्रा लभते पुषोत्तम मृष्ट अन्न उपनीत अश्नाति नीत विना स्लीप विजिटेड नॉट दि आईज ऑफ राम द बेस्ट ऑफ मैन इफ लक्ष्मण व नॉट बाय राम रेलिस्ट नॉट हिज फूड बीड एवर सो डिलिशियस इफ लक्ष्मण वॉज नॉट देर टू शेयर इट विथ हिम So in simple words Rama does not eat or sleep without Lakshmana. So Lakshmana is extremely close to Rama and Rama is also extremely close to Lakshmana. It is mentioned over here that Lakshmana was prana eva apara that means the second alter ego or some life form that is outside of his body. and in ayodhya kant we will see that rama himself calls lakshmana as dvitiya antaratma it is his second atma himself so this is the bond that we see between rama and lakshmana of course we all know that lakshmana followed rama to the forest and there are multiple times when lakshmana falls unconscious during the battle and we see rama's lament is extremely beautiful at that time of course lakshmana does not 
really get hurt that's a different issue and we will cover that in greater detail in yuddha kand but we need to understand that the bond between rama and lakshmana is extremely precious verse 31 यदाही हयम आरूढ़ो मृगयाम याति राघव अत एन पृष्ठत अभ्येति स दनु परिपालयन when rama rode out to hunt lakshmana ever accompanied him bow in hand to shield him from any harm hunting is common amongst kshatriyas and also we need to understand that any animal who is killed by lord rama immediately gets moksha the important thing to focus over here is that lakshmana has been serving rama since his infancy and whenever rama goes out lakshmana will follow him rama will not eat or sleep without lakshmana and this is the bond between the two brothers verse 32 भारतुघ्नो लक्ष्मण अवरजो हि स प्राण प्रियतरो नित्यम तीत तथा प्रिय इन अमिल मैन शत्रुघ्न द यंग ब्रदर ऑफ लक्ष्मण बिकेम डियर देन इज ओन लाइफ टू भारत सिमिलरली भारत वॉज ऑल्सो वेरी डियर टू शत्रुघ्न सो नाउ दट वी नो द पेयरिंग बिटवीन राम एंड लक्ष्मण Valmiki believes that it is imperative for us to understand that a similar bond exists between Bharata and Shatrughna. But this does not mean that Rama and Bharata were not okay together or Lakshmana and Shatrughna were not okay together. All four brothers had an untenable bond which will become obvious throughout the course of Valmiki Ramayana. Verse 33 स चतुर्भि महाभाग पुत्रे दशरथ प्रिय बभूव परमो प्रीतो दैवै इव पितामह दशरथ सराउंडेड बाय हिज फोर बिलवेड एंड फॉर्चुनेट सन्स शोन इवन एज अ फोर फेस ब्रह्मा अमंग्स द रीजन्स ऑफ द स्फीयर्स सो ब्रह्मा इज वेरी हैप्पी विद हिज क्रिएशंस एंड ऑफ ऑल द पीपल इन हिज क्रिएशन ही इज पर्टिकुलरली हैप्पी विद the four regions of the world so they are indra varuna yama and kubera because these four help protect the rest of the world so dashratha is now shining like brahma and the four brothers are like the four protectors of the world verses 34 and 35 ते यदा ज्ञान संपन्ना सर्वे स मुदित गुणे ह्रीमंत कीर्तिमंत च सर्वज्ञ दीर्घ धर्षिना तेषाम प्रभावा दीप्त तेजस पिता दशरथो हृष्टो ब्रह्मा लोकाधिपो यथा his heart waxed glad to see them grow in wisdom derived from the study of the arts and sciences to see them adorned with every perfection to see them proficient in every worldly affair to hear of their growing fame among men as prodigies of intellect and to observe their wonderful faculty of seeing before them into the future and act accordingly So here we have descriptions of all four brothers. First one is Gnana Sampanna that means enriched with knowledge. Sarva Gune that means they are endowed with all wonderful virtues. So they are so mudita or endowed with few more attributes. The third one is Khri Manta. Khri Manta means they are very bashful they are a little self conscious they are very modest next kirtimanta that means that they are extremely famous the fifth one is sarvagnya that means that they are the knowers of everything the sixth description is dirga darshinaha that means that they were foresighted The next description is deep the tejasam they are radiantly brilliant and they always treat their father with great respect that is tesham sarvesham pita with 
great respect they treat their beloved father verse 36 te chapi manuja vyagra vaidik adhyayane rata pitr shushrushana rata dhanur vede cha nishtita the sons were not slow to note the love of their sire towards them they became more assiduous if possible in their studies of the science of ethics and sacred legendary lore and in the mastery of the bow and ever served their sire joyfully so this is the description of the lord's childhood so from the birth till few days before their 13th birthday this is the description of the lord we know that it is the 13th birthday because rama gets married when he is 13 years old and mother sita is 6 years old then they live for 12 years in ayodhya and when they are 25 years old and 18 years old rama and sita go to the forest this is mentioned by mother sita herself to the disguised ravana in aranyakand so now the next stage of the lord's pastimes is going to appear and this comes with the arrival of sage vishwamitra we will look at the arrival of sage vishwamitra and his request to king dashratha in the next section Jai Sita Ram